Aperture a series of carbon star imaging Newtonians is a series which is in the constant pursuit of making out-of-the-box astrophotography a reality. With improvements such as a CNC machine secondary, optimized field illumination, and a lightweight carbon fiber body design, the Carbon Star line of imaging Newtonians allows amateur astrophotographers to experience imaging Newtonians as they should be, hassle-free. Shortly after the release of the 150mm 6-inch model, Aperture was already being asked about offering a larger size. So today, I am excited to present to you the Aperture Carbon Star 8-inch Imaging Newtonian. I'm Tegan with High Point. Like, subscribe, and stay tuned. So first and foremost, it comes as no surprise that larger aperture increases light gathering power. This is obvious. However, it is hard to overstate the access in which 8 inches of aperture truly gives you in regards to bringing out and capturing detail of deep sky objects in the night sky. And it's those details which make an 8 inch telescope such a sought after size in astrophotography. Available with or without the dedicated non-reducing coma corrector, which offers 2-inch filter threads and requires standard 55 millimeters of spacing, this scope was optimized for APS-C size sensors designed to give those who have larger sensors the field illumination they crave from an imaging system. Now, as is standard with the Carbon Star line of imaging Newtonians, the 200 millimeter 8 inch offers CNC machined parts throughout and a full carbon fiber body. Having that single piece secondary CNC machine spider vein prevents any twisting or flexing when collimating and allows you to hold collimation a lot longer than a traditional Newtonian. All in all, the build quality of the 200 mm 8 inch continues to deliver that premium feel at an affordable price that the Carbon Star line of imaging Newtonians are known for. To further improve on the rigidity of this system over traditional Newtonians, the Carbon Star 8 inch comes adapted with both a Vixen and D style dovetail, which has four mounting points. This ensures stability when attaching your OTA to an equatorial mount and completely eliminates the back and forth wobbling that happens with traditional two point mounting systems. So to help carry these larger APS-C cameras and other accessories, the new Carbon Star 8 inch comes with a two inch rack and pinion dual speed 10 to one ratio focuser and has been designed with a tight fit draw tube to help minimize any tilt in your imaging train. And the focuser is of course EAF compatible. Next, if you take a glance down the optical tube, you'll see another notable but standard improvement to the Carbon Star line, and that is the addition of 13 internal knife edge baffles. Some traditional imaging Newtonians simply lack this internal baffling at all, which allows that stray light to bounce back and forth, hit your mirrors, and eventually hit your camera sensor, which will reduce contrast in your images. So in addition to these internal knife edge baffles, we also demonstrated how important managing light leak from the primary mirror cell is also a huge factor. Stray light from almost any source, be it the moon or porch lights, can sneak up through that primary mirror cell and wreak havoc on your individual subs, and these kind of gradients caused by that light cannot be corrected with flat frames. So to mitigate this, Aperture has included a solid backplate for the rear cell of your optical tube, and this is a great addition to the Carbon Star line of imaging Newtonians. Now let's talk about optics and optimization. So in our review of the Carbon Star 150, we mentioned that the secondary mirror size and the coma corrector was optimized for the most popular astronomy cameras on the market like the 294, the 585, and the 533. The 200 mm 8 inch model has been optimized for the more sought after camera sensors like the ASI 2600, an APS-C size sensor. To accommodate for this, Aperture has increased the secondary mirror size to increase field illumination for APS-C size sensor. In addition to this, Aperture has also standardized the focal point, which means you no longer have to hunt for a focus point in your stars. Simply adjust the focuser to the 35 millimeter point and you're going to be in near precise focus. From there, use a batten off mask and a dual speed focuser to fine tune that focus or just run your EAF routine. Now, if you are interested in the optimization process for the Carbon Star line of imaging Newtonians, take a look in the description below. We have provided a link to a well-written article that has details on all of this. So with 
all of that being said, if you've been wanting more out of your Astro photos and you really want to take that next step in size, performance, reliability, and warranty, then the Carbon Star line of imaging Newtonians is the obvious choice. Having used the Carbon Star 150mm 6 inch Newtonian for over a year, I was excited to see how much detail I could achieve with only six hours of imaging with the 8 inch model. So, with that, I present to you NGC 2237, otherwise known as the Rosette Nebula. with High Point. Make sure to like, subscribe, and thanks for tuning in. Thank you.